Realizing the importance of having effective cyber laws, Pakistan has in the last two decades developed and promulgated several cyber crime laws. Uh, we have already seen earlier that in 2002 came electronic transaction ordinance. Then in year 2007 arrived uh, electronic or cyber crime laws. And then finally, the most current ones are Prevention of Electronic Crime Act, PICA 2016. Just pinning the importance of having effective cyber laws in order to combat cyber crimes I am very tempted to share uh, a quotation from National Research Council USA uh, given by them in year 1991. Well, they say that the modern thief uh, can steal more with a computer than with a gun. And tomorrow's terrorist may be able to do more damage with a keyboard than with a bomb. So for major financial frauds, for major uh, you know, terrorist activities, uh, for, and, and several others, you know, uh, cybercrime uh, has the potential of you know, creating havoc or, or you know, causing menace even way beyond our imagination. And the only way to actually prevent a, a large range of cybercrime or in order to regulate cybercrime, uh, the route is to have effective cyber laws. Pakistan, realizing this need of the hour, came in 2016 with PICA. Uh, before we look at, into the details of PICA, uh, let's first again revisit the importance of having cyber laws. Uh, cyber laws are required in order to, you know, prevent, in order to deter, in order to monitor and regular cyber crime. Cyber crimes are often of an international nature, in particular the financial frauds, uh, whether it is, you know, extracting large sums of money out of bank accounts or whether it is, you know, these, this uh, very small amount of financial theft out of individual's bank account, but done repeatedly, so that over time it becomes a larger theft. So usually, you know, uh, 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 financial crimes are of an international nature. Further, cyber laws have an important role in representing and defining the norms of the cyber society. Cyber laws help in giving the right to enter into legally enforceable digital contracts, which it wouldn't be uh, possible to do uh, in their absence. Then cyber laws help in maintaining and owning the cyber properties. They help in carrying on online business, which has increasingly become the backbone of several economies. Cyber laws further provide legal reorganization for uh, electronic documents and digital signature. Uh, the most recent uh, cyber laws promulgated in Pakistan are uh, PICA 2016, and they make uh, provisions for a persecution of several cyber crimes, which are uh, increasingly increasing with, uh, with you know, uh, the utilization of internet and computer and its related technologies. Now, we're just going to look at some of, uh, you know, not all, but just some examples of the crimes which are covered under PICA 2016 and the punishments uh, for those offenses. For instance, uh, for any unauthorized access to an information system or data, this particular crime is punishable with an imprisonment uh, of, you know, uh, of maximum three months or a fine which may uh, be up to 50,000 rupees and both these punishments could also be awarded uh, together. Then, for the crime of unauthorized copying or transmission of data, there could be an imprisonment uh, of up to six months, or there could be a fine uh, of you know one hundred thousand rupees, and both these punishments can also be given together. Looking at a few other examples, for the crime of interference with information system or data, there can be an imprisonment which, an, which can extend to two years, as well as a fine which can be up to 500,000 rupees. And again, both punishments can also be awarded together. Then for the crime of, un, of an unauthorized access to critical infrastructure systems and data, there can be an imprisonment which may extend up to three years or a fine up to uh, 1 million uh, rupees. And like previous ones, both these punishments can also be uh, awarded together. Moving on. Uh, for an unauthorized copying or transmission of critical infrastructure data, 
there can be an imprisonment which may extend up to five years as well as a fine which which can be up to five million rupees for an interference with critical information uh, 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 for critical infrastructural information system or data you know it can be punished with an imprisonment of seven years and a fine of 10 million rupees then uh, another kind of uh, a cyber crime which is glorification of an offense an example of this could be that it is possible that that offense did not take place in the cyberspace for instance a person may have committed a murder or may have uh, committed rape in the physical world but they're actually using the cyber world in order to glorify it so glorification of an offense which is uh, you know uh, in many cases for perhaps a bigger offense than the offense itself uh, is you know likely uh, to be punished with an imprisonment uh, of a term which can extend up to seven years or a fine which can extend up to 10 million rupees and again both these punishments can also be given together at the same time uh, then hate speech uh, now what is hate speech hate speech is a uh, preparation or dissemination of any information through any information system or, or device that can you know uh, that is likely uh, to advance interfaith sectarian or racial hatred uh, now uh, now hate speech is something which can promote or it can you know cause uh, violence or it can you know uh, be uh, be life threatening to an individual or a group of people uh, su such hate speech is punishable uh, with a term which may extend up to 7 years as well as a fine then uh, cy then cyber terrorism itself it has its own punishments but recruitment funding and planning of terrorism which is preparation and dissemination of information through any information system or device that invites or motivates to fund or recruit people for terrorism or plans for terrorism is also punishable uh, with an imprisonment up to seven years as well as a fine. Uh, then, uh, as I'm just quoting some of the examples of offenses and punishments, now there are several offenses and punishments, huh? uh, for instance, cyberbullying, for instance, cyber stalking, uh, which are covered under PICA. Another very noteworthy and worth mentioning uh, crime which is punishable under PICA 2016 is child pornography. Now, what is child pornography? Well, it is that whoever intentionally produces, offers, or makes available, distributes, or transmits through an information system, or procures for himself or for another person, or without lawful justification, possesses material in an information system that depicts a minor engaged in uh, a sexually uh, explicit conduct or a person appearing to be a minor engaged uh, in, in, in a sexually explicit conduct or realistic images representing a minor engaged in a sexually explicit conduct or it discloses the identity of a minor. Now such uh, crimes uh, which, which fall under the umbrella of child pornography are punishable under PICA by up to seven years or a fine of five million rupees. Now, as you know, cases related to you know child security have have sprung up in our country in recent times. Uh, it is a relief that you know uh, any uh, dissemination or production or use of child uh, pornography is covered under PICA 2016, along with a set of several several others uh, cyber crimes. Then spoofing, which you know may seem to be uh, uh, which may not seem to be uh, 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 a cyber crime to several people because of lack of ignorance, uh, you know, but uh, uh, spoofing is also punishable with a term which may extend up to three years as well as a fine of 500,000 rupees. Uh, for, for the convenience of the audience, if I may shed light on what spoofing is. Spoofing is uh, that whoever with dishonest intention establishes a website or sends any information with a counterfeit source intended to be believed by the recipient. Now, this includes, uh, you know, for instance, there are times many of us might have experienced that in our social media account or in our email, we receive a, a request from a friend or from an acquaintance or from a coworker saying that they have run into an emergency and they would require a certain financial help. Now, that's a typical case of spoofing and where we, out of a goodwill, may be immediately tempted to transfer some money or help a friend or a co-worker who is in such dire need.
Now, uh, summarizing, PICA promulgated in 2016 also on the very, very positive side has uh, or promises or offers international cooperation. That means that the federal government, upon receipt of a request through the designated agency under this act, extend such cooperation to any foreign government, 24-7 network, any foreign agency, or any international uh, organization or agency for the purpose of investigations or proceedings concerning, uh, concerning offenses related to information system. This international cooperation coming under PICA 2016 actually protects us and organizations from any kind of international uh, cybercrime as well. 